Everybody, 9.12 now on your Tuesday morning. So excited to welcome Craig Ashton back to the set. Hi, good to see you. Good morning, good morning. You just look so dapper. Right? Yes. Yeah, I worked at Nordstrom when I was in Berkeley, so okay. I pick, picked up on this stuff. <laughs> well done. Well-dressed yeah. lawyer. Exactly. And luckily for us, you also went to law school. Yes. yes I did. So you've got a lot was, to talk I went about. I to Pepperdine, so I mm -hmm. when I was there instead. <laughs> well, what, I wonder if you were there with our, our friend uh, Doug Christie. Yeah. You were at the same time? Uh, yep. Really? Nice. You oh. and Doug rock it oh. in. Yeah, so my, my uh, law partner, Chris, Chris Price played uh, intramural basketball with him. Oh, that is so cool. That's that a cool connection. Cool. I love that story. Okay, so speaking of cool connections yes. and all the celebrity news, I know we've got some <laughs> basketball news to get to in a second, but first we're talking about Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Cliff Hux Huxtable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's happening with him is he's being charged with sexual assault and harassment. Uh -huh. And Andrea Constand is the victim. Right. And she's testifying. And then Kelly Johnson is another victim. And she's testifying as well. The, the reason he got into this trouble is he got sued uh, for this sexual assault in a civil case. And then he gave a deposition. And the prosecutor didn't want to charge him until he saw the deposition. And under oath, he said that he would obtain quaaludes to basically take advantage of the victims sexually. And that yeah. deposition was from years ago, right? Yeah, 2006 yeah. was the settlement, so 2005. And so this is they're they're bringing up this old, this old information. Yeah, and I think because it's I think the drug use extended uh, when he's drugging the women extended the statute of limitations. Okay, oh, that makes sense. Okay, That's, yeah. That okay, so, right. so that Trial yeah, kicked so, off yesterday. Yeah, so basically because of a civil case, and giving a deposition, he admitted to quaaludes and that got him into criminal trouble. Oh. Okay. okay. And now we battle it out in court. All right. Okay. Now, next, let's talk about Charles Oakley. We're just talking, kind of talking about this, yeah. a former Knicks player, and kind of got into a little scuffle at a game, and now, now he's finding himself in a courtroom. Yeah, February 8th against the Clippers. So he doesn't like James Dolan, who's the owner. And basically, he started to, what James Dolan said is he was chirping at me. And ultimately, a altercation took place with security guards and then put them in a situation whereby uh, he was arrested and charged with criminal trespass. So you were making an interesting point, which is he bought a ticket. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. He paid for the ticket. But he it's, was it's, there. A, yeah. it's a revocable license. So when you buy a ticket, you just can't do anything in a game. Right. So, I mean, you can't act criminally. I mean, if you drink too much, you can be asked to leave. Sure. Right. And right. so it's not a irrevocable license, it's revocable. Right. But it, it seemed to be revocable depending upon the owner's discretion, and he has a personal issue with him. Right. So that seems to me like that's an abuse of his power. Yeah, so that might take care of the trespass issue, okay. the criminal trespass, yes, but sir. the assault, um, it's on video. And so they offered him to dismiss all charges. Really? Uh, and he, all he had to do was be on six months good behavior, and he declined. He said no. Yeah, so I, th I think that's you think a, he would have been better off <laughs> without question because he's going to spend you know thousands of dollars on legal fees. He's going to go to trial, and there's video evidence of him basically in an altercation. Yeah, but what do you? What would you tell a client like this who feels like he's in the right? They also said that he was drunk and he wasn't, so they cast aspersions on his character and mm -hmm. his integrity, and he had nowhere to defend himself except now in a court of law. What would you tell a client who's like, I'm in, I must defend myself. Yeah. I but must clear my name. I might have him file a breach of contract on the ticket mm -hmm. okay. uh, to say that he wasn't acting in any way that was, would, would revoke it. Okay. And then he'd get his day in court and then get to take a deposition of James Dolan, who he doesn't like. So that, that would be the approach. Because the video, I don't think James Dolan is involved at all. He's just using his First Amendment rights of being an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> and and the, consti the, con the Constitution protects you for, for being an idiot, right? Sure, that, that's true. I mean, it does. Because Charles, <laughs> Charles Oakley is a legend. Uh -huh. Yes. I mean, he's, he's a legend he's, as far as Knicks are concerned. Yeah, right. I mean, he's a legend. So you don't treat a legend like that. Right, right. Wow. That's okay. going to be a long, is it going to be long and drawn out, or you think they'll probably want it to go away? I don't know. I mean, he's, he has a right to a speedy criminal trial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So could be going to trial in the next three or four months. Wow. And, you know, if he loses, this is going to be on his record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, the consequences to me don't make any sense. But he's but, willing to take that risk. He yeah, is the, that attached. Yeah. To he's already won. He, he's yeah. taking, you yeah. know, victory out of the jaws of defeat. Oh, oh that is <laughs> victory from the jaws of defeat. Craig, wow. Always great to see you. We always learn something. Thank you, Craig. Exactly. Thank you so nice much. To see you. Nice to see you. Too. Hey, kick off the summer by.